Um, just give us a introspect on that, on what you meant by it being a, a ending. Yeah, it's like, so it's like a perfect ending. It's like a, the, the, the storybook type of thing. I actually have a book coming out right now, so it's, um, it's like going through all the stuff I've been through, getting the title, losing the title, then getting it again right here, especially right here in LA. It's like a it's like a storybook ending. But for me this of course it won't be ending, it'll be like a it'll be like a new beginning basically. Mm -hmm. But that's kinda what I meant. Is this redemption to maybe um losing the belts against Josh Taylor yeah. and, and how far behind you is that fight in terms of using it for motivation, heading into this fight and getting your belt back? Um, I mean that fight definitely behind me. That was three years ago, so I don't really worry about that fight no more. I mean, you can, I, I definitely can learn things from like some mistakes I did in the fight and like leading up to the fight. But um, as far as that, yeah, that's all behind me, bro. Um, this is a whole new chapter in my life. It's a whole new me. Um, and that's not Josh Taylor. That's Jose Vega. So I can't, you know, look at him like that. Yeah, it definitely seems like that. I'm that you're very confident, and that's uh, behind you. Um, Cepeda said that um, there's a mutual respect there. Why do you think you guys have that for each other? Well, first off, bro, like we 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 share one of the same trainers, you know. So it's kind of hard to like talk shit to him and hit him us up like that because. We, we actually, like I said, we share one of the same training. We're probably going to see each other after we fight one day, you know. We'll probably be in the gym and stuff like that together. So, um, it's and, and I think we just got respect because we both uh, southpaws. We both hit hard, too. So, I know, you know, he's coming and I'm coming. So, um, and for me, like, people know I like to talk. I'm a shit talker sometimes, but that, this dude is too nice. He's too nice over me, so I can't even really say nothing to him, bro. It's, he's too nice. He won't even say nothing back to me. So, I'll just be saying stuff or nothing. The face-off was intense. You guys... Yeah, 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 uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So, it's cool, it's, it's, it's cool, bro, yeah, Ellie just asked me, yeah, it's, um, I just, what I see is, I mean, you can't really see nothing in nobody's eyes or nothing like that, but it, what I could tell that he's not scared, he he wants this, you know, I, like, he, he really wants this fight, um, he wants to be a champion, that's the thing, he felt like he was robbed, uh, which a lot of, a lot of people felt like he was robbed out of the Ramirez fight, and I was already a champion, you know, so we, you know, we both really, really want this. Really, you know, we we both feel like we deserve this belt. You're fighting, you're fighting against the Dignity Health Sports Park. Um, your style, his style, this obviously has an ingredients for fighting the your candidate, right? Right. Can you elaborate on that? Oh, um, yeah, we gonna go at it, bro. Like I said, it's probably gonna be some cuts, some blood, um, some knockdowns, just a lot of stuff, bro. I think, yeah, it's it's, it's gonna be, a, it's definitely gonna be a fun fight. You just like like he was saying, bro, like. You, it's it's hard to get the top two people in the division in the same ring together. Like it's always right now in boxing, you always getting somebody that you know gonna beat up on somebody else. It's just like how he's gonna do it, right? That's all we that's all we get right now. It's like all right, we know he's gonna win, but how is he gonna win with this? Like. I really feel really confident. He really feels really confident. The fans say it's a 50-50 fight, you know, so that's right there. That's the ingredient to a good fight. You know what's crazy? It's six weeks away. Like, you're going to blink. The fight's here. Are you in shape? Exactly. Are you in camp? Are you sparring? I've been sp I, I haven't I haven't started sparring yet officially. I, mm -hmm. I was sparring like two weeks ago, but... So it's like yeah, yeah, and those type of questions. So I was um, if y'all know, I was already in camp. I was supposed to fight August twentieth on Andy Joshua in Usyk. I was supposed to fight that, but of course they got pushed back, and then I was supposed to fight August twenty seventh. And so um, then after that, it was just like I was supposed to fight Victor Post off actually. Yeah, but we had we had something in the contract. We said that we can I can fight him if I fight for the belt. Then yeah, we scratched that fight. So that's what happened. So smart um, move. Yeah, but definitely. You look in shape. You look ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely yeah. I'm, def I'm always in shape. I'm always training. So um, now it's just putting them. Well, I, I can't say finish the trenches because we still got six weeks to go. But you know, just get back into things. Where have you been preparing? Um, I start in New Orleans, but I go back to Texas. I go back home to Houston. But I use so usually I start here. I start in LA, um, but obviously I'm not doing that this time because of the whole training situation. But um, this time I start in New Orleans and I go back to Texas on Friday. You know, everybody was doubting Marv Nation was a real thing. I told Marvin, "No worries, you're good." Did you doubt it? Or you thought? It was oh, of course, I definitely doubt. I, I told, I just told him, just <laughs> now he should have flew me first class, bro. Like you can't have me. Flying, you can't be flying economy, bro. That's not, that's wrong. So I definitely was doubting because I don't. Well, first I didn't know. I didn't know who he was, right? I mean, I didn't, I didn't know who he was and stuff like that. But look, hey, all, all the doubt. Here. I'm happy I'm here. All the doubt is out the way. I'm happy I'm here. Now the fight is gonna happen. So November 26th. That's all I'm worried about now. Regis, you and um, Sapita are definitely in your prime, man. I really feel it's gonna be an explosive fight. But at the 140 division, who's the young gun that you gotta keep your eye on? 
that might be coming for you guys. You know that eventually in the future, there's Gary, Gary, uh, Antoine Russell. Gary, yeah, Gary Russell for sure. I think he has all knockouts, right? Gary, Gary Russell. Um, I think that they got some dude named Matias. Uh -huh. Matias. I think he, you know, he he looks pretty strong and stuff. He has to he has to tighten up a little bit, but you know, um, I think. As far as the young gun coming up right now, I think it's you know probably gonna be Gary Russell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Cool. Thank you, Richard.